The dietary supplements market is massive and continues to grow with increased demand. The global dietary supplements market was valued at $123.28 billion in 2019, with a growth rate of 8.2% expected from 2020 to 2027. In the US, the multivitamin market was valued at $6.99 billion in 2020, projected to reach $10.31 billion by 2030 with a growth rate of 3.9%. Despite this, the scientific evidence for whether multivitamins are beneficial is mixed at best. Taking multivitamins can help some people obtain recommended amounts of vitamins and minerals when they do not get these needs from food alone. Some, including older adults, vegetarians, and vegans, may need higher amounts of certain vitamins like B12. People not often exposed to the sun, or who live in places of prolonged darkness during winter, may benefit from vitamin D. Dr. Larry Apple of John Hopkins notes that women of childbearing potential should take folic acid to prevent defects in babies, and iron may also be beneficial. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also recommends that all women of reproductive age consume 400 micrograms of folic acid daily. At the same time, a varied diet generally provides enough of each vitamin and mineral. Vitamins in foods come with companions that aid absorption and protection, while vitamin supplements generally do not. Other studies show that multivitamins have no significant benefits to long-term health. Based on their review of several recent studies, Johns Hopkins researchers found that multivitamins are not effective in reducing the risk of heart disease, cancer, cognitive decline, or premature death. In some cases, vitamins may actually be harmful. Fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamins A, D, E, and K, can build up in the body and become toxic at high doses. For example, excessive amounts of vitamin A can cause liver damage, while too much vitamin D can lead to hypercalcemia, which can cause bone pain and kidney problems. Since supplements are not regulated by the FDA, the doses can be higher than what is shown on the bottle due to inaccurate labeling, and the supplements can contain contaminants. They may also interfere with prescription medications or treatments. If you are considering taking supplements, it's important to follow recommended dosages and consult with a healthcare professional beforehand. In conclusion, while the dietary supplement market continues to grow, the scientific evidence for the benefits of multivitamins remains mixed at best. While they may help some people obtain the recommended amounts of certain vitamins and minerals, a varied diet can generally provide all necessary nutrients. In some cases, excessive amounts of certain vitamins may be harmful, and supplements may contain inaccurate labeling or contaminants. It's important to follow recommended dosages and consult with a healthcare professional before taking any supplements. Taking pills or multivitamins is not a shortcut to better health or the prevention of chronic diseases. Instead, maintaining a healthy diet and weight, and reducing the intake of certain types of fats, sodium, and sugar are more effective measures. Thank you.